Good evening. I pray that you had a good and restful weekend. Um, some of you may be wondering where our video is for the Sunday worship. Unfortunately, we were um, testing out new equipment, and with all technology, sometimes there are kinks to work out, and so we weren't able to capture the video for Sunday. But we are working out these kinks, and it's going to be better in the long run um, with this new technology. So again, thank you for your patience. Our uh, devotion for tonight comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. <clears throat> in Him was life, and life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A severe storm can be terrifying. And a storm that strikes in darkness can even more so. A power failure plunges homes or entire town into cold darkness. With the night comes a fear of the unknown. Not just childhood fears of that monster in the closet, but real and reasonable fears of lost loved ones, looting or falling debris. In that kind of darkness, even the smallest light can make a difference. A candle, a flashlight, maybe the headlights of a rescue vehicle. Light means hope. God created light. He spoke it into existence on the first day of creation. He, of course, knew that we have learned in our that we have learned in our experience of darkness, God saw that the light was good. God separated the light from the darkness, providing from the orderly, providing for the orderly arrangement of night and day. The newly created world was plunged into a new kind of darkness, not the restful, restoring darkness of God's night, but a heavy curtain of sin and death brought into existence by human rebellion against the Creator. The darkness of sin was a place to hide. People love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. John chapter 3. God loved the world so he created and so he sent light. This time in the person of his son, the word made flesh. Jesus is life and light. He said of himself, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. Jesus descended into our darkness, and for a short time he allowed the darkness to gain the upper hand. On the night of his betrayal, knowing that darkness would soon overwhelm him, Jesus prayed in anguish, ultimately trusting himself to his Father's will. Jesus told that those who came to arrest him that night, This is your hour and the power of darkness. Jesus bore the heavy weight of the world's darkness, the darkness of our sin, his own body on the cross. He died, he died in the darkness of failed sunlight and was sealed in a tomb. For a time the darkness was swallowed up, swallowed up our Savior, but Jesus is the light no darkness can overcome. In the early light of dawn, his tomb was found open and empty. The light of the world has risen from the dead. In him the promise is fulfilled that God will swallow up the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Isaiah 25. Light means hope. And Jesus is the light that no darkness, no storm, no fear, no loss can overcome. For him, darkness is not dark, and the night is as bright as day. Jesus is the light who is always present with us in his word and in his body and blood, given and shed for the forgiveness of our sins. He will one day bring us out of this world still filled with darkness into the eternal light of his presence, where night will be no more. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when darkness of any kind threatens to overcome me, be present with the light of your love, forgiveness, and hope. Let your light shine through me with the glowing, growing brightness so that I can bring comfort and hope to others who suffer in the darkness of sin, grief, or disaster. Comfort me with the certain hope of eternal life, in the light of your presence. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. I pray that you all have a good night. God bless.